Meteorologist Noel Ream, sponsored by CC Roofing and Construction Company. Good evening, Concho Valley. Boy, did it turn out to be a beautiful afternoon after that dry line moved out towards the east. Currently seeing temperatures in the lower 80s, dew points back into about the upper 40 degree range. Looking at a south wind coming in at 8 miles per hour right now. A new record maximum rainfall set earlier this morning in Mathis Field at 2.68 inches, shattering that record of 1.62 inches back in 1940. That's almost 80 years old, folks. And take a look at this. Spring Creek at Foster Park sent in from Sierra. Here is a look on a typical spring day. You can actually see the diving board there at Foster Park. But if you take a look out there, the diving board submerged in water after about four to five inches of rain fell within Merton earlier this morning. There it is, folks, a little more than five inches around the Merton region and in eastern parts of uh, in eastern parts of the region here, 2.6 inches out towards San Angelo, up to about 3 inches east of El Dorado and parts of Schleicher County, all the way towards Menard, up to Eden, and even out to Brady. An exceptional amount of rainfall as we take a look. We're going to see those rain totals, at least of what's in your rain gauge from the last 24 hours. Tyler out in Hex, just in eastern Menard, 6.25 inches. And Sherwood sent in from Charlotte, 5.5. You can see Jamie from Menard, 3.7 inches. And my friend Charlie from Knickerbocker, three inches there. So some very impressive rain totals. To put this in perspective, we saw three inches of rain here in San Angelo alone for the entire month of April. So that's something to keep in mind on how much rain we had overnight. We continue to see this dry line pushing out towards the east. We are on the western side of that, meaning dry air staying with us at least for the next several hours. You can see not much going on tonight, a clear and calm night. We're going to see temperatures falling back onto the cool side as we head into the early Thursday morning hours. Although we could see a chance for maybe some light drizzle in southern and northern parts of the Concho Valley. I think most of us stay dry, although there could still be an isolated chance for maybe a passing shower or thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon. A severe weather outlook for your Thursday. Chance for a general thunderstorm just to the south of San Angelo and Tom Green County and our far southeastern counties in that marginal risk of one out of five. I think if we see any th thunderstorms, we're just going to see strong winds and possibility for some dangerous lightning. Upcoming rain chances very minimal for tomorrow, picking back up on Wednesday and Thursday. And then we'll also see rain chances jumping back up to 20 to 30 percent as we head into the weekend. Your temperatures right now have come into the lower 80s. We're seeing some mid 80s out towards Junction, 84 degrees, Bernard, 81. One Ballinger into the upper 70s right now out towards Coleman. I'm calling your forecast tonight 62 degrees, mostly clear and cool. We could see those wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour out of the west in your forecast for tomorrow. Cold front arrives in the early Thursday morning hours, Thursday afternoon, mostly sunny and pleasant. We're talking 14 degrees of below average for this time of year. We should be seeing temperatures in the mid 80s. We're topping out at 72 degrees, folks, with that slight 10% chance for maybe a passing shower or a thunderstorm. I think most of that stays confined in some of our southern and southeastern counties. Here's the that seven day forecast as we move forward. Cold front moves through early tomorrow morning, still aligned for lots of sunshine, temperatures in the lower 70s, and then the cool air really begins to settle in. We're talking mid to upper 60s as we head into the weekend and a beautiful Mother's Day ahead with temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s.